Jack and Chris in here real quick. So, um, Mr. Major Chris Stubbs is the Senior Vice President of Operations and Technology at Air Force Base. Uh, Mr. Chris Stubbs retired from active duty in the Air Force after 21 years in the Nurse Corps, and she's got over 27 years of experience uh, nursing, the last 20 year, years of which were specifically in pediatrics. Uh, she earned her Bachelor's in si of Science in Nursing from Bethel College in Colorado Springs, and then also her Master's in Nursing, uh, and, and actually in, uh, being a nurse protection practitioner as well from the Uber University of Arkansas in 2015. She's nationally certified as a pediatric nurse practitioner in pediatric primary care. Jack earned his master's degree in healthcare administration at Trident University, and he's still active duty in the Air Force as a, as a health service manager. Uh, Jack and Krista opened Pony Express Pediatrics After Hours in January 2020 to serve the Greater Cheyenne community. So with that, awesome. Right. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mary Ann, for coming. Um, I have a little quick slideshow. It's kind of a off the cuff, nothing too spectacular, but just kind of see how we kind of grew and uh, how we got to Cheyenne. So I'll um, show that. Hopefully, I can narrate a little bit as we go. You guys just click it. Here, you're my IT guy. <laughs> I must sneak in front of you. Sorry. Can we do the slideshow show again? <coughs> Flashing a little bit. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> Patrick's logo's up. That's what happened. How convenient. March of uh, last year when we first got here, we got to hear the week of the blizzard. So we were like, welcome to Cheyenne. <laughs> um, and here's our humble beginnings. Our story begins in spring of 2019, and we were inspired to open a pediatrics after hours clinic in the greater Cheyenne area. And the reason why I have this slide that shows this picture is because the first day I drove in and met Aaron, I pulled up and I said, you know, you gotta have courage. And I went in and gave my spiel of my, my business plan, and I was scared to death. <laughs> but I'm Krista Kovacevic, a nurse practitioner of pediatrics. My daughter is Josie, and she's our receptionist, our CNA. And my husband, better half, is Jack. He's the IT healthcare administrator for pediatrics. So we're starting out with a skeleton crew, but we're going to get there. And these are the before pictures of when we bought the building. We are the owners of the building, and we're owners of the pediatrics um, <coughs> clinic. And then here's the after. And once we get our landscaping in, it will be a really beautiful little place. And I wanted to keep it small and country, like a country doctor, so you can come in and feel comfortable seeing your provider after hours. Where do we begin? We started with the UDC code. Um, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> we didn't know what we were in for. But we met with the planning committee, and we accomplished, we got our site plan, and we got our... Um, survey plan and we got it started and so that's where we started I wanted to show how I started with uh, boots to business and I started on the base they have a boots to business class and which showed us how to transition from the military and my score mentors Mary and Tom have been wonderful Rachel from Li library to business and the small business association John private have all helped me um, it takes a village to have a community to get your business started um, you have to get legal so I have my licenses. I'm a pediatric nursing certified board in both as a pediatric nurse and as a nurse practitioner. I kept both of my certifications. Um, I went through the Board of State Nursing with Jennifer. She's helped quite a bit as mentoring and with the Board of Pharmacy. Uh, the construction. So these are all the people that helped us and probably some I hadn't mentioned. But we went to style surveying so we could get our surveys and our site plan done and Remax. Believe me, Rebecca did a wonderful, she went through that just to get that done. And then we also went through Donna Bank of Wyoming who helped support us in our small business association loan process as well as, believe me, they've been cheering me on behind the scenes. They don't know the tears. 
Courage Bourbon. Insurance is health, and then I always put uh, Live Each Day with Courage as the code of the West. And the reason why I did go to Jonah Bank was because of the cowboy code, and that's my beliefs as well. So the details, we needed to meet city codes. <laughs> so we um, had the fire inspectors come out, we had the parking lot straight, and we had George even from the bike rack. Plus, when you put a business together, you don't know where to find concrete blocks or bike racks. Or also, there's no code on how to figure that out. So mm -hmm. I did that on my own. We did the remodeling of the interior, the uh, before pictures. Uh, I, me and Jack did most of the modeling and remodeling. Mm -hmm. But we did have the floors reaccomplished in the um, room. And when we get done, I'll do a quick tour of the place. Um, but we redid the floors and the paint was redone on the inside and we did the, see there was two layers of linoleum and we had to get rid of that. <laughs> so we redid the floors. Um, this is the staff break room and well, I can show you that when we get done. But um, that was a lot of blood, sweat and tears we had accomplished. And this is the treatment room and um, the it too had left hand in it and so we upgraded and put tile to make it cleaner and <laughs> I wasn't sure how it would roll out all that hard work. <laughs> and this is the beginning, um, the opening of the reception area. We also decided to put the tile throughout so it stays consistent. There was some uh, little sheds in the front. I don't know if people remember it when it was here, but that was a nightmare trying to get rid of those and we had to remove those so that we could have enough parking for the code as well as have ADA parking that's available to our customers. Um, Big Al's came out and did that. We were happy with them. And then the parking lot remodel was Santos Construction and DJ and Striping. We had gotten so far into the city's codes of trying to get everything accomplished that they had closed the um, asphalt plants. So that changed our our plans to make it cement, <laughs> which is good. You know, we, we're actually proud that we got it made of cement. Um, but I just wanted to show how much hard work it was for them to come out here every day and pull all that up and then remodel it and have a nice parking area. Once we get the landscaping done, I think it'll look much more quaint and pretty. And then I had to show this. My hubby hard at work, well, both of us. We done a lot. That's my brother helping us fix things to code so that we met um, OSHA. And then if you see, over here, somebody has went to the CMRC ER. Um, okay. We won't describe that story, but that's how much hard work and blood, sweat, and tears that we put in to make this um, work and accomplish. And then we got signs, signs, more than signs. We'll be putting up our signs once we get them all. And, um, Pony Express, the one on the, on the front window, was done by a little old print shop, so we were happy that they helped us with that. Oh. And then I wanted to show that we had became our first time as entrepreneurs. Um, it, we actually did this in less than a year's time. And we want to introduce ourselves, myself and Jack, and Josie, um, <laughs> to show our appreciation for the amazing businesses that help us grow here in Cheyenne. That uh, can be done. Finally, we want to give a big thanks to the Cheyenne Chamber of Commerce and Tree, uh, Twin Tree Signs for our red carpet opening today. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, Chris, what? Oh, sorry, Eric. Yes, Eric. Go ahead. How about hours? Just, just to, so everybody. So we wanted to accommodate working parents because it's so frustrating that you pick them up from daycare or after school and they're sick and you have no place to take them because their primary care doctor is closed. And I am big on well, why sit in an ER, especially I have four children and there's nothing worse than trying to suit up, show up, put them in a, a, a car inside a car seat and get somewhere and now you gotta unload everybody and then you're trying to take care of the sick child and you have to take care of all the other ones running around. So. Um, we open from five to nine. We'd open a little later, but the pharmacies here close at 10, so we want to accommodate parents to get enough time to get over there. But our philosophy here is if you suit up and you show up, we will see you. So if you come in at one minute to nine, we will see you. You're welcome. 
Any other questions? That was the same question. Just the hours? <laughs> yep. Okay. I just want to say congratulations. I think it's it's so fantastic. My um, my sister in law is a pediatric nurse practitioner over in Laramie. Great. And so a bit, a bit familiar with the, with the practice, and um, <coughs> now that my kids are young adults, I I just always really appreciated the nurse practitioners in our community. So thank you so much for this much needed service. And thank you. We're really excited to have you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Krista, what can we all do to help get the word out? Well, word of the mouth is probably the best the best way. <laughs> yes, refer and, and just Facebook page. let people know. We have a Facebook page. We also have it linked to our website. And then anytime that anybody has any positive um, reflections on how we can make it better, we'd be more than happy to hear from you, no matter where. That's why I picked this location. I like it. It's centrally located. We can do the whole gamut of the greater Cheyenne area. I have to come up with the name. Well, when we went to city planning, they had said that we, you know, they want the Western theme, and so I went down a bunch of names, and I thought Pony Express Pediatrics. I love horses. Um, I even volunteered for CFP this past uh, summer. And ponies, kids love ponies, express, because it's fast. We want you kind of, we don't want to push you through, but we want you to feel like you can come, get your business done, and go ahead. And obviously it's a pediatrics clinic, so. And we named our horse Patches. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so great questions. Anybody else? Uh, all major insurances, or right now we are credentialed um, in, in contracting with the main four ones: uh, Wyoming Blue Cross Blue Shield, Tricare. Uh, we're still awaiting the contract. United Healthcare and with Medicaid. And then as we get grow and we find out what is needed in the community, then we'll go ahead and contract. Mm -hmm. There are some insurance companies that don't always support nurse practitioners, and so that may be one reason why we can't contract with them. Not that we haven't asked to. Will you be offering sliding scale for media folks? We may consider that later on, but right now we're basically commercial and self-pay. Mm -hmm. 